And then I saw Bernadette's character was supposed to be five foot two. So I went back and I went, I don't think I should read for this. I'm completely the opposite height. I'm five foot 10. They're like, just, just do it. And I'm like, okay. I'm very excited to be chatting with you guys today. Dark Winds is a terrific uh, mystery thriller series coming to AMC, AMC Plus on Sunday, June 12th. Um, uh, Azana, I want to ask, what was uh, uh, what was it that drew you to the series? Were you familiar with the the Lee Porn and and Chi books beforehand? Yeah, I've been. I grew up uh, being aware of them. I read some when I was in my early twenties, probably thirty years ago. Uh, I read a few of the um, the Tony Hellman books, and um, you know they were within our our culture as well. Uh, you know they. Tony wrote about the Navajo culture 30 or 71, I think it was. 71 was the first book. Yeah. Um, so they, they've been around a long time. I was very aware of them. And George R. R. Martin and Robert Redford, Chris Air, Tina Elmo uh, came to me and asked me to be a, a Vince artist, came to me and asked me to be a part of it. And I was extremely excited. You know, I was uh, honored to be uh, part of a, such a prestigious team. Awesome. Yeah, it's a great series. Uh, uh, I enjoy it very much. I, I think that you guys are such a great uh, team together, uh, 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 the the sheriffs there. Uh, Kiowa, um, um, what was filming the series like? I mean, it looks like some really beautiful landscape that you guys got to work with. Yeah, uh, it's Kiowa, by the way. Sorry. Kiowa, um, I'm so sorry. But yeah, it's, no, it's all good. Everybody does it. Um, <laughs> no, yeah, the scenery out there, It's. I mean, it just feels like home because, you know, I grew up grew up out around the Grand Canyon area and just being back in that, that landscape and that setting just feels familiar. And, uh, yeah. you know, it's kind of cool to have that, um, you know, Jim Chi, he like leaves the reservation a long time ago and he comes back and he's finally getting this, his like senses back. And it's, uh, it's a really beautiful thing. Yeah. Um, Jessica, I, I would love to ask, you know, what, what was it about the, the series that drew you to, you know, to your character, Bernadette? Um, well, I had just come off of a, a show playing a tribal cop um, in Canada and okay. uh, was a producer on that as well, too. So um, a little bit of a typecast, but I don't mind it. I love it. <laughs> and um, again, I, 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 I've known Zon for, I think, eight years. I've known Kiowa and Zon for about eight years now. So, you know, I saw Zon's name on it and it was kind of, kind of like a no brainer because, you know, it just, it's like working with family and it was an opportunity to spend more time together. But also, I mean, in my opinion, don't blush, turn around. No, but I really do. <laughs> Zon, is, Zon is the best native actor that we have right now. And I just, <laughs> I just knew that it would be a great challenge for me too in the acting realm. So, and I saw Chris Hare's name attached. And of course he's renowned for really putting natives on a contemporary map, you know, with smoke signals and the other films he's, he's done. So first and foremost, actually, I was intrigued by their names and then George Martin and Robert Redford. I was like, what an interesting combo. What is this? And then I saw Bernadette's character was supposed to be five foot two. So I went back and I went, I don't think I should read for this. I'm completely the opposite height. I'm five foot 10. They're like, just, just do it. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would do anything if, if I was to follow that, Jess. I mean, <laughs> I read for six foot five guys. I'm, <laughs> well, see, I didn't know. I didn't know. Don't pay sometimes attention to that like, stuff. Sometimes I like, literal, right? <laughs> Oh, oh, that's a no. That's a hard no. They want a five foot two chick, so it's okay. <laughs> that does come up a lot. It seems cool. Yeah, they don't. They don't know what they want. Yeah, they don't care. It's it's kind of like paying attention to directions. Nah, um, your size um, just lends itself to Bernadette. I think a lot more. I agree. Very. Yeah. Good. This was very powerful. Bernadette. I'll say, as just as a watcher, I I couldn't have imagined anyone else playing the role. No. Personally, right. and that's that's just coming from someone who, who enjoyed the show, watched it. That's a um, yeah, that's I, one of the I, best compliments, I, right? <laughs> uh, Zon, I would like to ask you though, you know, to piggybacking off of what she said, this is not the first time that we have heard someone say that you are the greatest Native American actor, uh, you know, at this time. I, I actually that's interviewed uh, uh, um, Rain for something else a month or so ago, and he said 
essentially the same thing. And, and I've heard it a lot. What are your thoughts on that when people say that about? Um, you know, I'm just <laughs> very, very fortunate to be working. Um, I worked hard. I, I just, that's, it's tough to swallow. You know, there's a lot of uh, really, really good Native American actors, such as Kiowa and Jessica and Graham. And I mean, we've got, we're starting to get a, a nice pool of, of great talent from Canada and the United States. And, and I, you know, it's an honor for people to say that, um, uh, you know, what's important to me is putting in the work, you know, put in the work, put in the work, be prepared, show up. Uh, on time, Kiowa. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> oh. Talking about right now? Oh, no. It's an honor. It really is. I mean, uh, uh, I feel very uh, fortunate. Thank you. <laughs> Kiowa, I feel, are you being called out? Are you, are you like, are you like perpetually late? <laughs> No, 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 no. Well, you're like, like 30 seconds late to this interview. That's oh. all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like trying to fumble. I was like trying to find the Zoom link to get in. I was like, what the hell is this? Get out of the mirror. Get out of the mirror, Kiowa. Yeah. Zoom problems are maybe one of the most relatable things we are all going through as humans right now, I think. <laughs> Kyle, I want, I'd like to give you the last word uh, before it's, my time is up. Um, okay. What uh, What do you want uh, you know, fans, watchers, AMC plus subscribers uh, to know about the show uh, uh, before it airs on Sunday, June 12th? I want people to know that it, uh, there's more than just the, uh, you know, exterior of like oh this is that native series of uh detectives and you know we're going to find some mystical elements here but it's like there's also you can explain it it's actually it's happening but we you know there's people have their traditions and we have to respect people's cultures and um i just know that people take away um there's a heart to this thing you know and it's it's a beautiful uh, watch you know these characters they they have these relationships that they go through um there's so much loss and there's also a lot of love that you can take from it so yeah absolutely absolutely thank well, you I guys did, I, I wanted to mention a couple more really phenomenal actors on yeah go ahead please do <laughs> yeah so, gentleman named michael gray eyes as well as chaske spencer they're absolutely mm. amazing adam beach i mean the list goes adam on it's just very fabulous good. guys yeah, absolutely. That's all I wanted to say. I didn't want to leave. <laughs> yeah, you, you can't just take the compliments, compliments on. Our, on our, <laughs> Eugene, take the compliments Eugene. on. Yeah, <laughs> Dean Bray, Brock. Thank you. Um, I appreciate share my bits to it. All right, thank you so much. Thank you guys, guys very much. I really appreciate taking thank the time you. today. I really appreciate you taking time to chat today. I'm very excited about Dark Winds. Uh, uh, it's a terrific series uh, coming thank to you. AMC, AMC Plus, Sunday, June twelfth. Yep. Um. um uh, Graham, I'd like to start with you um, okay. and kind of get some background on, on what got this project rolling. Kind of what was it for you that that brought this? Me, what, where are the origins of the of the Dark Wind series beyond just the book series? <laughs> OK, so it starts long, long before me. Um, obviously, Tony wrote these great books. Robert Redford um, optioned them in 1986. And he was trying to turn them into a film. He actually made a few films, two of which Chris directed um, for PBS. Right. Am I right about that, Chris? So Chris was on board, you know, early on. And then um, Bob still had the rights. And I think really still wanted to, it, it, you know, he was happy with the films, but he wanted to go further with the series and thought there was more there. And so he and Chris and George R. R. Martin sat down about, what, five years ago, Chris? About five years ago, yep. They had a lunch together and they started talking about it as a television series for the first time. And they went about, you know, that seemed like, you know, because the novels, there was so much material there, it seemed like it fit just naturally. So they needed a writer. And then that's where I came on board. Um, so I came to the project um, in February 2019 when my agent sent me Listening Woman. And I had never um, read any of the Hillerman books. So that was my first one. And when I cracked it open, the thing that struck me about it so immediately was that there was no white character bringing you into the native world, which you see quite often, mm -hmm. that it started with the native characters and everything you were seeing was through his point of view. 
And the other thing that, about Tony's writing that really resonated with me was how immersive it was. And so th those are the two things which felt like, you know, this is this was such a ripe, fertile ground for um, a television series because it was a world we haven't seen before, which is hard to find. You know, there's so many TV shows on. And it was a point of view, which, you know, now we've had some, um, we have Reservation Dogs and a couple of other Native um, led shows but at the time in 2019 we didn't have any and so those those two things to me really you know made me excited to want to sit down with chris and, and the rest of the team well it's a terrific show chris i mean you know what you guys put together here is absolutely amazing um, um and and you know what what would you say was maybe the reason why it's taken so long to get to this point i mean these books are decades old and you had a couple of projects in 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 you know a couple of decades ago and so now all of a sudden we're, we're 20, 30 years removed from that. And you're finally getting this dark wind series with, with Lee Porn and Chi. I, I think I was talking to Graham about it earlier. You know, the things right in front of you sometimes are the things that you overlook. Mm -hmm. And I think in our, you know, cinema and in our, in our American popular culture, you know, this has been something right in front of us. And I just think the American you know, public and the world public has taken such a richer interest, you know, galvanized by all the things that we have going on in, in examining, you know, who we are and what we are. And I think that's important in going forward, um, you know, as a, as a, as a team and a unity. And so I just think that it was, there was some timing involved. I mean, certainly, you know, Graham's, uh, you know, script was amazing and, and, um, you know, we did some, some great work and we want to expand on that. But, uh, you know, it was a matter of the things that are right in front of you sometimes are the things that you don't see clearly. And, um, you know, that's kind of our job, which is, you know, to point to things as storytellers. And uh, there's so much there. There's so much rich history and rich characters and rich culture. And so we're just, we're just pulling that out. Uh, you know, as, as native people, you know, Graham's Chickasaw and I'm, I'm Cheyenne Arapaho. And, you know, you're kind of delving into yourself and examining what's right in front of you as well. Wow. That's really, that's really interesting. And, and Graham, I'm curious, you know, when it comes to adapting this book series, it's so, you know, iconic and, and, and taking those characters and, and kind of creating a, something new out of them, but from, but trying to keep that, I mean, what was the most challenging part of that for you? You know, I think you hit that, hit it on the head, Stephen. When you do an adaptation, you're really trying to capture the spirit of it. And I've done a couple before, you know, and the last show I did was also an adaptation. Um, and in that case, we didn't actually use any, any plots from any of the novels because they, they were so timely. This one, because it was a period piece, we were able to use the case and the plot of the book of Listening Woman. But I think the thing that I really wanted to do was dig into the characters in a way, these wonderful characters that Tony had created and try to dig into them and maybe add a couple of new layers that fans coming to the series um, um, would appreciate, but also would make for a long lasting story. So um, that's kind of where the idea for having Lee Porn going through um, having experienced his own loss while he's investigating the crime and having Chi coming back from a long period of, abs um, of absence on the reservation. So those were liberties that I took um, just to really try to, and I did the same with Bernadette, just to really try to add another layer to, um, to, the, to the characters. Well, it's funny when you mentioned Bernie, one of the things when I was speaking with the uh, the trio, uh, I talked to Jessica and she had mentioned that she initially thought she wasn't right for the part because she was too tall. <laughs> and so I just thought that was funny. I was like, well, I could not have imagined anyone else playing that role, to be perfectly oh. honest. You know, could we after seeing her work? Yeah. As, just as a fan. Uh, uh, Chris, um, um, you know, what for you as the, as the director, you know, directing this series, did you guys always want it to remain in the setting that it was written in? Or was there ever discussions of like modernizing it? Um, we, we wanted it to remain in the, the 70s. Um, yeah. You know, Graham and I and the team had conversations about the irony that not much had changed. Um, you know, there's still lack of electricity and water, you know, to the Navajo Nation today. 
I mean, I was just reading how they're installing, you know, electrical grids for the first time in some communities. And so, you know, for us, it was kind of this, this irony that, you know, we're making something 50 years old, but in some ways, you know, the circumstances are the same, but we did love the detail of the seventies, you know, the uh, production design and the cars and the clothing. And so it's kind of this um, interesting, you know, tapestry of uh, not much has changed, uh, but, you know, you're 50 years away from uh, the time period. So I did a panel, it's at, uh, not South by Southwest, but at uh, a ATV or ATX we were just at. Yep. And I, I talked about this exact same thing, which is, you know, and Graham can speak to it. We wanted to keep it in the 70s. And ironically, you know, it feels on the res in some places that it's somewhat contemporary. Well, you know, that setting is perfect. It, it, the show looks great. I mean, Rain Wilson sideburns couldn't be <laughs> more perfect. Um, <laughs> Those pork chops are delicious. I don't, I don't yeah. know if you made it to episode five, but you get a lot more than, than pork chops <laughs> of Rain yeah. Wilson. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> quite the yeah. character. <laughs> Gentlemen, I want to thank you very much for your time today. Dark Winds is a fantastic series. Uh, once again, AMC and AMC Plus on Sunday, June 12th. Um, thank you very much. Have a great rest of your day, guys. Uh-huh.